Well, I have gained my citizenship to the lovely Prairie Dog Town. Hence the name Prairie Dog, Small Dogs of the Prairie. Prairie dogs are medium-sized rodents related to squirrels that are native to North America. Now, these are really interesting animals in that they create extensive underground burrows and are quite photogenic. Let's see if we can find some prairie dogs and let's see what we can learn about them. Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today, I'm hoping to come upon a civilization of sorts. A town, if you will. Not a human town, mind you, but a town of dogs. More specifically, not dogs at all, but prairie dogs. The small, squirrelish rodent native to the Midwestern United States. So hopefully we're able to show you these cute little squirrel cousins, and hopefully show you just how cute these little prairie dog towns are. So we're gonna look around. We're in a really good spot in southwestern Oklahoma and I'm hoping that we can showcase some really cool behavior and some really cute prairie dogs. So let's be keen. Let's be vigilant for these lovely creatures. Let's go. Whoa. brownies for the road. <laughs> okay, so we have now happened upon a humble prairie dog town. About a hundred feet behind me is a lovely colony of black-tailed prairie dogs. Now these little creatures are in the family Sayuridae, which is squirrels, chipmunks, groundhogs, prairie dogs, and marmots. Now these are really cool and nice looking rodents and some of my personal favorites so we're going to try and get some cool shots to show you these beautiful beautiful prairie dogs now of course we realize that prairie dogs build extensive tunnel systems but how big can these systems become well one of the largest if not the largest prairie dog town ranged over 25,000 square miles and is estimated to have had over 400 million individuals. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard? That is like a human-sized city. It is so impressive what these small three-pound rodents are capable of. Now, where do they get this name Prairie Dog? Well, Prairie, Seems pretty self-explanatory. These are prairie and grassland animals. They need lots of open space with good loamy soil that they can tunnel through. And then dog refers to the warning bark that these animals make when they see a predator or sense danger. And it's a little Sounds like a dog bark to some, maybe not to others. So hence the name Prairie Dog, small dogs of the prairie. Now these are actually related to ground squirrels and other rodents. Uh, they are not canines, so they are herbivores. They're gonna feed on lots of grasses and different types of vegetative material. And they're going to use their extensive burrows as a way of surviving in the harsh climate filled with predators. So they have extensive burrows that they both live in as shelter, breed in, and of course, create shelter for other animals. 
Now, they may not look like it, but these prairie dogs are actually ecosystem engineers. And what I mean by that is that these animals can shape the very landscape around them. Due to their extensive burrows and their vegetative feeding habits, these animals can help bring a higher level of plant diversity within their own environment. In fact, we can see a direct causation of higher plant diversity in areas where these prairie dogs are present. How cool is that? Now these prairie dogs rely on extensive burrows because these prairie grasslands that they're native to are full of all sorts of predators. Some of the main predators of these prairie dogs include coyotes, badgers, foxes, all sorts of birds of prey, and historically, the very hard to find now, black-footed ferret was a specialist of hunting these prairie dogs as it was able to snake down through these narrow tunnels after these defenseless rodents. Now, despite their cute, fluffy, and round appearance, these rodents can inflict a pretty nasty bite with those beautiful rodent incisors. Those are sharp, scissor-like, could cut right through the soft skin of a human or a predator if they need to defend themselves in such a manner. Now, it's really cute to see these animals on high alert. So we're gonna try and get some footage of them looking out for predators, or in this case, Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, living in a large colony means you probably have to get along well with others. These prairie dogs have extensive social bonds that can spread out through a colony. These animals can be seen interacting with one another, grooming each other, and even warning close relatives and family of danger first. It's really, really cool to see these cute little animals interacting with each other, especially when they're grooming. Now, these are some of my absolute favorite American animals, my favorite American mammals, and I haven't been able to showcase these yet, so I'm super excited uh, that we're able to film these really cool and interesting little animals for you all today. So I'm gonna try and get really close with the camera. I think we've already gotten a few shots so far that are usable, but I really can't stop looking at these really cute little prairie dogs. So I'm hoping we can get uh, some really good footage of all these behaviors that I would like to show you all. Uh, so I'm going to whip out the camera. We're going to see just how good footage we can get. Living in a semi-arid grassland or prairie can be a challenge if you're on the hunt for water. So prairie dogs have adapted a special trick in order to survive in areas that get little or no rainfall on a regular basis. These animals actually are able to sequester the vast majority of all the water they need from the vegetation on which they feed. So these animals are able to get just the right amount of water out of their food without having to go and expose themselves crawling out to a water hole or a creek or a river uh, where they could easily be picked off by predators. Isn't that such a cool adaptation? Well, I have gained my citizenship to the lovely prairie dog town, and I think we got some great footage of these beautiful little creatures. So I think it's time to bid our prairie dog friends adieu. Goodbye, my cherished friends. Goodbye, sweet little chubby rodents. Did he just say bye to me? He did. Oh, he went Eek. And that's prairie dog for goodbye to the most amazing wildlife educator we've ever had the pleasure of looking at their backside. Thank you, <laughs> prairie dog. That's so sweet. You didn't have to say that. I know there's probably plenty of other wildlife educators that have done a much better job than me, but you know, it just still feels good to hear it. So with that, I'll bid you adieu once again. Bid you adieu, not the prairie dogs adieu, because I haven't bid you adieu yet. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed our little bout in the prairie dog town. I know I did. They're so cute. They're so rambunctious and chubby. Big old fat prairie dogs. Love them. But be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you enjoyed the video. Join our channel memberships, buy the merch, and of course, above all else, join us next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.